Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware risk in the future trading. Uh, normally, we start every day around 10 o'clock Eastern time, and today we are a bit early, so maybe we can get the new signals. For the ones that just join us, you will have the new signals here. Please, if you want to follow us, follow us on SIM. We're not allowed to call the trades for you. This is the first column here where uh, you can see the signal, entry price, and the target. The same thing can happen on uh, the Forex. Uh, the signal entry, and then uh, for also stocks, but uh, I don't have the stocks on, but you can also use the automated to trade on the stocks. Uh, those charts here are connected to this market analyzer, and it comes with the three different automated to trade, uh, ATM, ATM strategy, and fully automated to trade. The two market analyzer here, the blue ones, they are the scalpers, and the ones in the bottom here with Ninja Trader, it is the swing trader. So we have a three different system, three different automated to trade, and none of them require any optimization or tweaking or uh, dealing with it. It's just all on turn on, turn off basis. The market analyzer is based on one minute with one lot. And uh, what we are using on the chart, two trades, two lots, and then we are using the ATM. The reason we are using the ATM is uh, we can control the trades. We can control the target, but when you are using it uh, fully automated, you as what you see on the market analyzer, entry target, and then uh, target, entry target and target. There is no, nothing you can do. Just you enter at the signal and you exit at the target. So right now we will be uh, covering a little bit uh, on the, uh, the systems. Uh, and then at the same time, what we're trying to do, we're trying to analyze what's going on in this market. At the moment, we have this uh, uh, just fired the new signal on the CL. If we want to look at the CL, really what's going on, uh, we have an amazing resistance line uh, at uh, 67.03. And the target on the CL base on the one minute is at 67.18. Uh, so uh, this is, is going to be a little bit the problem uh, for the CL to break this area here. That's why I like uh, the ATM, because this is an option. If I want to, I can uh, exit at the resistance line and uh, just take my trailing stop, or I can take my target and uh, take it anywhere I want to. And uh, like if I want to take it a little bit down, you can, or take it a little bit up, you can do that. Because I can see there is a problem on this uh, trade. And you can see it's like a clock. Once you get to know our system, you see how accurate it is. And you can see exactly where the CL is going to have a problem. We have a three resistance line. And as it coming to the take to the resistance line, and the probability is going back to the re-entry point is 66, uh, 67. Now, it, it required a lot of buyers, a lot of moods in order for us to penetrate uh, the 6704. Uh, this is a really serious, but also at the same, at the same time, uh, this is where if you are in a trade and you have money, uh, this is where you can evaluate if you want to exit this trade. And this is what the privilege is uh, between fully automated and an ATM that once you recognize those zones, they are extremely accurate. You can also order those zones separately. You can go log in on the web. web. They are around um, on a yearly basis, less than $30 a month, but they are extremely uh, uh, accurate, where even if you are auto trading, as an example here, you can see where uh, the problem and you can exit. Uh, that is going to save you a lot of money and a problem uh, even if you are a swing trading, uh, this is, is going to give you a very good idea uh, where to exit and where to stay uh, when you are on that trade. <laughs> Normally, we start around 10 o'clock. Uh, we still have a few minutes. Uh, I'll stay quiet, uh, get uh, my stuff ready, and uh, we'll uh, start within a few minutes. Thank you.
Uh, I don't want to block uh, the the signals. Uh, sh we should have a new signal very soon uh, on the uh, YMES, uh, and you will find the new signals. They are right here at the first column. So uh, be careful. Watch those. Follow those on a simulation. Uh, do not take any live trades. We're not allowed to call live trades for you. And uh, we're about to get a new signal on the ES, YM, all those. So there is a new numbers coming right, right away. Okay, we have a new signals, ES, entry price, uh, 654, target, uh, 637, the auto trade already took it. We have a new signal on the YM, a new entry, uh, 24611, uh, target, uh, 4457. Uh, so those are the new uh, signals uh, coming out, and um, uh, you got to be careful. Uh, not, today is a Friday. So if you want to follow us again, uh, please be on the sim. We're not responsible for your trade. We are donating every day, two hours from our work to help the traders. We're not collecting money. We're not collecting your email. We're not collecting your name. So uh, it, it is a pure helping the customers or helping somebody is struggling out there. So please do not hold us responsible for any action you do uh, in the market. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and put the new signals. Uh, right now, immediately, within a few seconds, we have uh, uh, 225 on this trade. We have a target is already the auto trade uh, has uh, uh, put it there. And uh, we are just rolling on this uh, trade. Uh, so this is very good uh, for a Friday. Uh, be careful. And uh, we'll see how it's going to roll for us. Right now, you are $650 on those trades. Friday, it's got a little pullback. We are going in the right direction. There we go, folks. We're gonna roll. We are going in the right direction. We have a problem at uh, the YM at uh, 548. We have a, a support line. You got to be careful with that. Your target is right there, right front of you. It's uh, 457, $500 on the ES. We have a, a really a support line at uh, 264150. You got to watch out this one here, folks. That's mean you need to keep it close your eye, uh, close your mouth to the, this uh, one here. It could be potential closing position, and it is uh, forty seventy five at the moment. Keep, keep your eye on it, please. There we go. We are on around a thousand dollar on those trades. Thank you. Let's look at the ES. This one here is one minute, but I'm looking also at the three minutes. I will do. There we go. You are 1,630 on that trade. Okay, $1,800 on those slides. 
Also, we have the NASDAQ. We have the NASDAQ also 530. So right now you are on the last uh, entry. Uh, uh, let me take this one here out. You are 690 on the NASDAQ and uh, $900 on the ES, uh, 550. Uh, on the, there is a reversal. This is the problem I was talking about, folks. This is the problem on the ES I'm talking about, and this is where is the projection, and this is where uh, I said you need to be uh, keep your eye. I want to take those out, and uh, this is where is the problem. If we look at the three minutes on the ES, this is exactly where I told you we are going to have a problem at uh, the six four one. 50. Uh, the market could be trying to break this area here. This is uh, your call. You have $1,200 on that trade. It's up to you to call it off for today. Or if you want to stay on those trades, you're very welcome. We have right now on the last entry signals. There we go. Uh, I'm going to dismiss this. Um, uh, the trailing stop, and I'm gonna add my own trailing stop on those. Uh, target is about to hit at 37 level, but if we look at the three minutes, probably we can expand it a little bit more to the uh, 626, 28, 75. That will be lovely. So let's see. We have around uh, 1,475 on that trade, and uh, we have $1,000 on the last entry signal on the Nasdaq, and we have 800. Total amount is around. $2,400, $3,000 based on this last contract. Target hit on the ES, gentlemen, ladies, uh, target hit on the ES. If you want to extend it a little bit, you can. There is a good potential if we break this area here. There is a good potential going back uh, to the 26, 28 and kiss this market for this week. Goodbye. It's been, it, it has been a lovely week. Tons of ticks has been made, tons of them. It is amazing. Uh, the numbers in this market for the this week, it was some of the trades we couldn't even show it because the numbers, they were beyond our um, imagination. So this is right now the problem on the ES. And uh, this is exactly where we we were expecting this market to have a problem. And um, so uh, there is a pullback. You can flat out everything and call it off. Have a nice weekend. Or if you want to go back and wait on the pullback, we can wait on the pullback and then trying to see if we can get a little bit more on the uh, on this uh, ES because there is a good potential if this ES breaking down for the forty uh, uh, the forty one level, uh, there is a good potential we are going down to. Uh, the 28th level, this is a lot of money uh, involved in that trade. So uh, it's your call, guys, and uh, I'd like to see some feedback. If it's any of my customers, uh, Skype me. If, if you are on any of those trades, you're very welcome to tell me and uh, get involved in those trades. Thank you.
Uh, buongiorno, uh, amigo. My Italian friend. Thank you, sir, Ben. Okay, you you took the ES and the YM. How come you missed the the, uh, the Nasdaq? You missed the Nasdaq, so uh, why? Okay, but uh, this is very nice, sir. Okay, um, no, my friend, I used to get upset. Uh, uh, I don't get upset anymore. Uh, okay, we have a support line. Um, I mean, if you miss a trade, you miss a trade. Why should I get upset over it, uh, amigo? Uh, you missed it, you missed it. Uh, this is a, the support line at uh, 45.52. Uh, this is where the trouble in heaven, and now we are going down again, and the EAS is going to penetrate this uh, number here. This is your magic right now. This is your magic number. If we look on a, a little bit more professional side, being uh, just amateur with the trading. Uh, this is where your keys right now holding on the ES at uh, uh, 2641 right there. This is your key right now. If we, if this ES oh, about to break down this area here, we are hammering all the way to the 28 and it could be a good potential to the 20 level, 21 level. This is a very serious money, folks. This is a very serious money. So let's uh, keep our eye closed and uh, we'll see what uh, will happen. Uh, on the NASDAQ, let me see. Uh, on the NASDAQ, NASDAQ. It's typical from the safe entry. There is nothing we can do. YM is the same story on the YM, folks. This is your line. Those are your less than $30 a month zone where I have been trading for over 20 years. And I will never trade dime in this business if I don't have those lines. So I don't see anyone can trade indicators without zone. And it is not a promotion. It's a more a headache for us licenses and people and supporting people. So those are your, your bread and your butter, actually, because it's telling you when you are in a trade, where are you going to have a problem? If you're going to take a short here, you must be out of your mind. Because if you if you don't see those, and you want to take a short here, you are a total disaster trader. If your auto trade is going to take a trade in here, he's going to lose because this is the area. This is the key right now on the ES is 41.75. So if you don't have this line, you have those uh, lousy indicators and you want to go short here on the ES, do you really think going to make it? It could, you could make it by luck. Uh, the, the ES is going to break those levels and then you make it. Most of the time, those levels that they, they hold, I'm not saying they hold them every single bumper in there, no, but they are very consistent, non-stop, extremely accurate. And if you want to go long or short and you are right above or below that line, you're going to blow up $200 on your uh, losing trade. And yet you cannot invest $30 a month on, on, on a line can save you uh, our butt. So this this is uh, it's not a promotion, guys, but you cannot trade without a good, reliable, uh, consistent FIPS. It is a piece of the cheese. And it doesn't matter where you're getting your FIPS from, but you're not gonna get a good FIPS uh, if if uh, uh, I mean I don't know I don't know. This is not my problem. It's no longer it's my problem, but. I don't see anyone can look uh, at those charts without uh, some kind of level uh, indicate breaking this market in pieces before you trade or you auto trade. I mean, you know, this is not uh, 
you know, you go to the vegetable guys and you buy kilo potatoes and it's over. This is a trade-in. If we look on the EAS based on the three minutes, it's a breaking in pieces telling you there is nothing left here and this is, it could be uh, your last time you're going to see this number or it could be potential if there is a sellers, we're going to break and we're going to hit a lot of today all the way down here. But at the moment, if we look at the clean chart, it tells you it's cutting it, it's cutting it in pieces. This is one piece right there. This is another piece. And welcome to travel, trouble right there. This is the worst nightmare for any trader or auto trader is right there in this area here. This is where 90% of the traders and auto traders lose money. And I guarantee you that. Because you are get, get, going to jump into a pile of mud, nicely put at it, you know. And this area here is going to drive you crazy, whether you are auto trading or you are manual trading. Here we go. We have a buy signal is over, you know. All those trades now is over, you know. So one minute you have a $3,000, and uh, right now by not looking at those uh, lines, uh, Toot, 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 toot. They left those three thousand out of your pocket. You know, now we have nothing but uh, uh, a banana in our hands. From three thousand to nothing. This is a very serious business to trade in, and you have to be very smart, and you have to cut your losses when it needed, and you have to close your trades when it's needed. We called it immediately at ten o'clock. Be careful, guys. We have that number, and I said precisely. If you go back on that video. Once you come to this area, get your hands close to the mouth because we're going to be closing those trades in here. And that's exactly what happened. And the market now rejected. Now try and good luck once this market going in and diving into this pile of mud in the air, trying to see how you're going to get the bread out of it. The things is if you don't understand the rhythm, if you don't understand when to trade, even auto trade, especially the auto traders, uh, if they, if you don't understand there is time where you can auto trade and a time you cannot auto trade. I don't care where this auto trade coming from, whether it's from us or somebody else. You have to be circling around this market, hoping to go with the right direction. You cannot have no impact on this market. You have no inventory. You cannot change things in this. You're nothing but a number at your broker. If you make money, nobody care. And if you lose money, nobody care. So, guys, this is a very serious business, and don't think this is not going to happen to you. It happened to everyone, you know. And the smarter we are, the more we get beat up by this market. Greed is number one enemy, and patience is number one enemy. Not lack of knowledge of the market. You want a refuge to auto trade. Yes, we have over 20 auto trade. Go for it. But it's not about auto trading. It's about trying to read what's going on before you auto trade, before you manual trade, before you put your money in there. Why you are in a hurry to, to use money if you don't know what was going on. So all those here can be brushed off and say, yeah, 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 I'm smarter. That's exactly what we have said before, you know. Let me tell you something. When I quit the airlines in the state and start trading in Switzerland and all this, when those older guys grabbed me the first week, I said, what an idiot. You know, I'm an aircraft engineer. I'm smarter than that idiot. You know, I can make it. I can do it. Then five years later, I had to fly to Switzerland, uh, sit down in a restaurant and tell him, tell me everything you told me five years ago. So it turned out he was not an idiot. I was the idiot one. You know, I, I was the one thinking that I'm smart, a smart one. And then after five years, I had to fly physically to Switzerland and sit down with those older guys. And I said, give me everything you have. And it was documented, taped, uh, writing them down. Because when they first tried to give me advice, I thought they are a bunch of, I mean, I said, what an idiot. You know, have you seen a donkey playing piano? I can, they cannot, you know, I'm smart. I'm, I'm you know, sharp. And uh, it turned out I was not smart, you know, just arrogant. So this one here, guys, now it is over with the short trade. And now we have a two signal buy. And this is a probably, most likely, this ES is going to be a problem here in heaven at uh, 57 level. 
And the minute we cross the 57 level, kiss it goodbye to ES, you cannot trade it anymore. So now we are trying to see if those area here, or if the ES is going trying to break those area, uh, trying to retest it, that will be our luck for today. If this market uh, not able to break this area, we're going to dive into big pile of mud and you cannot get out of it. Actually, this is the area today on the ES. You're going to give up all the winning trades you have made for today. So keep your eye on that shot. All our traders got this uh, template. This is a three minutes. This is not one of those weird looking uh, chart, you know, called line break, whatever the hell is that. Uh, this is a real minute. This is a real chart. This is where the institutionals use in 15 minutes. They don't use one of those kinky looking chart. This is the reality because the, the ninja trader is in minute. So if you wanted to, to get somewhere in this life, try to get the minutes, stay away from the Renko. The only time you use Renko when you want to reverse the market, yes, we can reverse the market by using the Renko without a doubt, but you cannot go ahead and make a living out of a Renko bar. This is the last time you will uh, you will never, not in this lifetime. So right now we have uh, a lot of potential to the upside and this is a, a really critical area. And now this is where you you will be, start losing your pants off right there. Uh, five minutes and I'll be right back. Thank you.
So those are off, they are finished. There is nothing we can do. If we look at this uh, chart in the details, what's going on, after you got those $3,000, we warn you from that area. And if you notice how the wig came in on the, uh, uh, on the, uh, on this area, the one I said you gotta be careful from, and exactly to the take at uh, 58.75, and now it's just trying to gain a momentum again, and let's see, this is a cat and a dog game right now, and uh, let's see if we are able uh, to go back in. If we're not gonna go back in, that's mean all the bets are off in this area here. All the bets are, are off. And if you are live trading today, and uh, uh, or you are auto trading, it doesn't matter where your auto trade coming from. You're gonna dive into um, uh, to what? What did you say, sir? Um, total across six thousand. And um, okay, uh, I will look at it, sir. Sure, uh, yes, uh, this is a very good schedule you made here. Um, well, we have one of uh, our clients, uh, yeah, you know. Uh, those numbers is about right, uh, Danielle. Uh, those numbers, they are about right. Total gross 6,000. Yeah, I will, uh, you are new with those. Okay, yeah. Um, ben? NASDAQ, one minute. Very good. Congratulations, 1,345. You had one losing trade here, sir. That's very good. Have a nice weekend. Fernando. Fernando, I start falling in love with you, sir. This is uh, for, from Fernando. I took a three trade ES NASDAQ YM. 3,300, thank. Yes, have a nice drink, one tequila for me, Fernando, in your country. Uh, this gentleman, uh, Fernando, um, he was not an easy customer when he came in uh, a few months ago. And um, he was a total disaster trader, to be honest with you. And he was actually, uh, was driving me crazy with the support. And uh, he was not getting the idea. And then all of a sudden he started getting uh, the idea, and uh, uh, Fernando, we have uh, Jose nailed the uh, day before yesterday, I think, 15,000. Either a day before yesterday, Fernando. And Jose, he's been with us, what, for a couple of weeks? 15,000. And uh, Ben. Uh, yes, sir, I saw the, your earlier chart. Very good, Ben. Is any other traders uh, took? Uh, Tony is missing in action today, seems like it. Okay, so uh, it seems like we got the luck and uh, we are trying to see if we are going again for the ones has not closed position, we are trying to go again and see if this ES is retesting the 4150, if this time fell, close all markets, ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, and call it off for today. My wonderful. Let me see. Okay, Tony, you're here. Okay, good. Beautiful. Did you nail it? I don't see where did you trade it.
nice. Uh, okay. <laughs> already okay guys this is where uh, we need to concentrate on at the moment please please have respect to this market so this market can respect you back please try to understand what's going on how this market is moving in order for you not to have headache for the rest of your life you it is a little bit painful at the beginning to to, to be you need to be patient and then Later on, you can look at the, the chart within split second and you can analyze the whole thing, you know. So uh, it just takes a little. I don't want to put you in a room for one year, you know, and collected money out of you. It just is right there here, free, you know. Uh, sure, Tony, no problem once we, we are off. Uh, right now, we are coming again, retesting this number here. If we are not able to break this area you need uh, every trader we have you need to flatten out everything most of you has uh, flat out earlier at uh, 4125 but this is where uh, this is a really good test for the es if is this es not going to break that area here you need to flat out everything including those guys are auto trading because the guys with auto trading they only look at numbers they don't they are not looking at the market movement they are looking at just if this auto trade making money or not what we need to do we need to uh, even for the guys on auto trading you need to hold or you need to flatten all your position because this is a really critical area folks uh this is you know one of the customers yesterday two customers said Fifteen hundred dollars, okay. Beautiful. Also, Luma nailed fifteen hundred. Beautiful. Okay, uh, you see this one here right now, folks. It's again the same problem. So let's see. Uh, how this uh, market, if it's able to break that area, if it's not, kiss this market goodbye for uh, this weekend. It's finished today. But uh, everybody made money, so I'm not worried about it. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize. Yes, here, here is her trade right there. 1,500 on what? Man, lady, this is very good look at this guys you see that you see that kiss it goodbye it's finished let's try it one more time let's see We need the sellers to push this market down. And if there is no sellers, we're going to stay here, folks. And God help us. This is, is going to bring a lot of chop in the market. So let's see. Right in line. You know, one of, uh, one of the traders, uh, uh, two traders actually told me uh, the last two days, uh, they said the way I, I pinpoint the trades where it's going to be rejected. Uh, I don't, uh, they said that when uh, they go to other rooms, they put it maybe high risk, whatever. You know, they they always try to protect uh, their words uh, with something else and they try to tweak it. So if it goes the other direction, they are not. We are saying right here, this is your target. This is here we are going to close. Or if you want to stay, this is at your own risk. Uh, this market here, if it's going to test this area here, if we have a breakout, you're going to be, this is one of your luckiest day you have. If the market is not going to break out here, here yeah, you're going to be uh, practically needed diapers. As simple as that. You know, we're not, uh, uh, Mr. Amigo here, let's see what we have. Okay. Yesterday you killed it.
this is a live trade and um, very good very good you have a little over a thousand no how much you have a 350 on that trade that's not bad have a nice weekend so there we go this is the second bar now trying folks let's see what will happen look three different instruments folks three different instruments look where they are hanging and this is a one minute chart this is not one of the banana renko bars here is your support line and this is exactly where the ym is struggling okay here is your es this is exactly where this market hanging on this is your uh, nasdaq this is exactly where is this market hanging on? So you can see all three instruments, folks, is on the same line, and the system is telling you, hey, I have a problem here. This is an option you have to call. Either you take out this trade here, even if you are auto trade, you can flat out everything and protect your investment, or we can go ahead and, um, you know, uh, just uh, cross your fingers and look at the sky and hoping everything is going to be okay. So, you know, one of the the, the funniest things, uh, we have the, the A scalpers and the B scalper. We have a gentleman last year. Uh, he bought uh, the system a year and a half. And uh, this guy disappeared on me. I said, come, let me teach you how to trade. Uh, he said, no, Sam, I got it covered. Uh, the, his wife got him a psychic. They call her every morning, and she tells them uh, if it's, um, um, uh, you need to trade the A scalper and a B scalper. When he said that, I, I just sit in my chair and I want tears in my eyes. That uh, a, a psychic want to tell him if you need to, uh, so he will not have to deal with the market. He hired a psychic every morning, so he don't have to look at the market. This is how some traders are thinking. I'm not trying to put this gentleman down. I have a lot of respect for him. But leave the psychic out of it. Try to look at the chart, trying to see what's going on. And, and it, it is, um, you know, it takes you maybe one week, two weeks, three weeks, one month, it doesn't matter, until you learn the rhythm in this market and then call it up. As you see right now, the ES is, um, uh, is a broke down those level. This is a good potential for the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones to break those level. So right now, if we look at the real time frame, it is we still not out of the wood on the ES. Once we get out of that area and this bar start closing to the below those lines here, we have a very good potential to the 26, 28, and then we kiss this market goodbye for this week, and it is over. Very, very, very straightforward. We're not out of the wood yet. We still need. You see how, what is the wig? We're still not out of the wood. So try to imagine yourself, folks, whether it's our auto trade or somebody auto trade or you are swing auto trading or you are scalping auto trading or you are a banana auto trading, whatever you want to do, call it, call it. This is the area where you need to sit down and hold your horse on your auto trade because if you are in a position, very good. We can always add position and we can always put a stop loss and we say we can protect a little bit bread out of that trade. Fine, fair enough. But if you are auto trading and right now this market and you don't have a position, this is uh, where the market, where, where this market going, your best offer is to just take a quarter out of your pocket and uh, flip it. Because right now we are between buyers and sellers and let's see who's going to win with it. You know, the bears or the bulls. So if we look at the uh, a little bit more in details here. This is the measurement we give you with the six different time frame. The sellers over the buyers, the sellers over the buyers, and the amateur traders, they are here lost. You know, so this is enough for me to tell me the sellers over the buyers. This one's here, this, uh, there is six different time frame on it. And tell showing you, this is uh, the, the uh, retailers, they are lost. 
and then you have the institutionals, the sellers over the buyer. So this is indicate a little bit indicate where the direction in this market. This is one piece of a, of a cheese you need to, uh, the, the one piece of the element you need to uh, consider uh, how this the direction, where is the trend, where is this market struggling from, um, and then we need to go ahead and attack that problem. When you go to your doctor, you have a stomach ache, you're not expecting to get a headache pill. When this market is telling you right there, hey, I'm having a problem here, you know, you do not uh, add contracts, you do not uh, auto trade, you do not uh, initiate a trade until we see what's going on in this market. Are we gonna have a breakdown? One of the things uh, traders do, uh, they scared, they're gonna miss out on a trade and then they start getting into shorts and trades or long trades. One of the things is you can do with those lines, if this market going, you let it go, you let it break out. And then on the pullback re-entry, I can explain that very easy with that. You did not miss out on that trade at all because it's gonna go back and reconfirm the 98.25. Once the market reconfirmed the 9.25, it is a very good to take a short trade with a very minimum stop loss around 10 ticks max or five ticks. We have some traders three ticks, but they know how to play it. I don't want you to trade three ticks uh, stop loss, but you can do it. You can learn it where you need to put your stop loss because either this line gonna make it or break it. There is no nothing in between. Once you start understand those, uh, the rest is nothing. Uh, it's just trying to understand the rhythm in the, in the market and how to play. Uh, that's okay, Christopher, uh, keep practicing and uh, we will give you all the support you want, sir. No big deal. <laughs> right now, based on the last entry signal we have four, 65 takes on the es 180 takes on the nasdaq 100 takes on the ym 160 takes on the uh, russell seven takes on the 30 year treasury bond dax 17 takes and uh, then uh, we have 73 takes on the 6e and uh, down 23 takes on the cl so this is um, also there is sanction uh, is going to start uh, next month on the 5th so uh, 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 watch out the oil price next week. Guys, keep your eye very close on the oil price. Uh, uh, you know, the sanction is coming on the 5th of November against those Iranians. So good. Uh, so we need to see some movement on the CL. It's not our problem, but we're going to see some movement uh, on the CL. And uh, that is going to be... Uh, uh, very good to use the swing trading on the CL those days, not the scalpers, because those, they're going to kick ass with it. You know, if we, we have a movement on the CL, this is money, despite what is, what is causing this market to move. It's not our problem. We are traders, but we are looking for movement. We are looking for action in this market. Then we can go ahead and uh, unleash the proper tools for it because you cannot anymore auto trade with one piece uh, tools, one size fits all. This is not gonna happen anymore. You're going to 2019, this is not gonna happen. It, you know, you have to understand the timing. You have to understand what to use, what size of tools, what kind of tools you need to use uh, for uh, whether you are an auto trader or not. You have to understand when to scalp, uh, when to swing, should I swing trade on Monday? No, I do not swing trade on Monday. Should I swing tra trade on Friday? No, I don't like to swing trade on Friday. I like to swing trade Tuesday to Thursday. So all those timings, especially for people that are out of the country, uh, they have a different timing. What scalper should I use? The A scalper, when the, when the market is a chop, I can use a B scalper. You no longer can come in with one one uh, size of two or, uh, you know, and then you're gonna kick ass with it. You cannot do that anymore in 2000. We're going to 2019, the algorithm got much more advanced for that crap. You cannot just take one ATR or a MACD or a momentum and you're gonna wave the market with it. You know, it's, uh, um, it's uh, just empty bullets, you know. So right now uh, we cross those area here uh, and then um, 
we hit the target right in line with the target there is a good potential for more extension on the target uh, i'm gonna walk you with it uh final destination on the es is uh 26 28 50 close open position at 26 uh 28 70 you know for the safety take it uh, close position at uh, 26 28 75 this is kiss it goodbye is finished is over uh mm -hmm. let's look on the uh, nasdaq uh i'm sorry what it is nasdaq okay yes nasdaq uh on the nasdaq Uh, the first step on the NASDAQ is uh, going to be at the 51 level. Final destination, if you want to hammer it a little bit more, is 36.75. Uh, the YM is right in line. I estimate it here, but it's right there, right in line. Uh, 24404, and kiss it goodbye. If we are lucky, because we have two lines here I'm concerned about. So if you want to play it safe on the YM, you need to close at 24442, 442 right there because of those two lines. Do you have a double support line in there? But uh, this is the final destination on the uh, YM. And look, once they hit the target, now it's pulling back. This is exactly the, 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 the guys are, uh, when they, are, they have a good lines, they try to take the first move. You should never take the first to break out because it could be false to break out and it is uh, not worth to trade it. But anytime this market breaks certain important level, there is a pullback re-entry on every single market. And this is where is your money. This is where is your money on the identified trend pullback re-entry. Or if you really wanted to be advanced trader, as we hear the stories every day, oh, I wanna, I'm tired of my job. I wanted to, uh, to quit my job. Uh, yeah, you're, we all got tired for, from our jobs. As an example here on the ES, uh, you have a reversal here, and this is a very nice reversal out of the band R4. Out of the band, this is a damn good reversal. Sometimes the reversals are small, sometimes are way they go from one band to another and there is a potential for over 80 ticks sometimes on a reversal trades if we look at the out of the band of trades one and two and three you have not lost any of them if we uh, usually on the on the es this is three one renko is not six two this one here is a reversal out of the band which we have covered here on the youtube a few weeks ago and I will be recovering that on the private webinars as well. Out of the band reversal, and you can see where it took you that reversal. That uh, reversal took us from, um, and those they do not repaint, folks. Those reversal do not repaint, and it's 26.58 took you all the way down to 26.41. This is a serious money, folks. Uh, you're you're uh, you're getting tired of your work. You, you, then you need to start working here, but uh, you cannot say I'm getting tired of my work and I don't want to work in this business because the more you work in that market, the the easier it will get for you later on. Uh, if you don't earn it, you don't earn it. You have to earn it the hard way. Here, it's about money. Uh, you have to earn it the hard way. There is no, no, nothing in between. You know, you either know your stuff or you don't, and then you're gonna be paying the price. If we notice right here uh, on the Nasdaq, uh, we did the first breakout. As you see, what we explained to you, we did the first breakout. This is where most of the traders start panicking and they scared they're gonna miss a trade. No. Let the guy next to you jump out of the window and laugh. Because on the pullback re-entry, you are the guy is right. The guy is jumping here. It could be false alarm. It's going to fire back at him. Look at this, folks. Every single market come back to the same line and now is trying to go back in. So you cannot avoid it. This is a good... 
a place and it is a cheap place. It is a cheap place to trade. Even if you nail out of it five ticks or 10 ticks, sometimes you nail out of it 20 ticks, 30 ticks, 40 ticks. Sometimes you only nail five ticks out of it. You know, we cannot uh, uh, guarantee anything in this business. But if you notice, break out, come into the target, profit taken. Of course, this market rejected from the profit taken. Where does go this market going back to? Is going back to the uh, to the resistance where it well, used to be support. Now it become resistant, and now is going to project again. And now this market getting stuck between the target support, the target here. Why this market pulled back? Because it is a target. People cashed in. It's finished. It's, it's done. When the guy is going short and putting buy, it's done. The market go back, reconfirm that area here. This is the genuine trade. That trade here is not a genuine trade because they play you. They know, look, I'm going down. You know, you're going to miss that trend and then you jump. You never follow the market. Never in your lifetime you jump in in the market trying to follow the market because they, they get you lost. You need to have a position in this market and you wait till this market comes into you. If you follow the market, you're gonna you're gonna drop right on your head. You're not gonna make money. You do not follow market. You know, if you see get to jumping out of a window, you don't need to jump out of a window. You know, you have a brain. You just wait till this market pull back, and then you you nail it. And that's exactly what's going on on that trade. Once you start learning how to learn the tricks, there is nothing left. And then you can start enjoying trading and it become a challenge. It become pleasant to sit down because you know ahead of time what's going on in the market. You're not affected by those uh, uh, noises in this market, uh, you know, and uh, this is where uh, they, they really get you when you, you don't know what you're doing. So if we look at this market right now, I will be closing that trade right in here. And then I will deal with the NASDAQ and Dow Jones right there, folks. This is your closing position on the ES. Now, what we have on this ES, this major support line become a resistant. Now this, uh, this here is a key factor for us. This is we are expecting this ES to be projected, and then we are closing those position, closing down on two thousand dollar base on one trade. After or below that is nothing but the junk and noises. Below that numbers, it might be the wig is gonna a little bit expand, a little bit back and forth, but technically this is a cutoff for for until next week. I don't know what is gonna happen after twelve o'clock. But technically, that uh, market is finished. Trading, whether you are auto trading or you are banana trading or you are um, manual trading, these trades here are finished. On the ES, you have two options. Either you close position in here or you wait till the, the market goes down and it is call it off and it is over with that. So let's look at this ES. Once we are done with the ES, we are done with the NASDAQ and Dow Jones, absolutely. So let's, um, on the NASDAQ, there is a major support area in here. You put one here and one here. We have two areas. On the YM, now this one become a resistance, and we have a double resistance uh, right there. So we can one, we can put one above the line, or leave him. Let's see the ES was doing. There we go, folks. Watch this. They are right here, the trades.
you can see how this YM hitting the target and staying on the target, and you can see where is our uh, log in and uh, finish with those trades. Look at the NASDAQ where it is, folks. This is our first level on the NASDAQ. Look where it's flirting with. This is accuracy. This is, we took the first trade out, and now we are taking the second trade. This trade on the, there we go. Look at this. We are sucking the blood out of that market. We're not leaving one take. We're not leaving the crumbs on the table. Bang. We are fighting on the last take, folks. We don't want to leave anything behind. We are cat and dog with that on one take. Finished. It's over. Done, 2000, nothing left on that ES. Let the others one get stuck with the, the ES. It's done, it's over. One more trade on the YM. There we go. Done. One more. Let's look at the NASDAQ. We still have one trade on the NASDAQ, close it. Over 2,000 on the NASDAQ. We still have this one here. We still have one more. We still have one more on the YM. We wanna nail this one. Right now on the market analyzer, based on the last entry signal, right here, right in front of you, we have 96 ticks on the ES based on one contract. 247 ticks on the NASDAQ, 180 ticks on the YM, 234 on the uh, Russell, uh, 12 ticks on the 30 year Treasury bond, gold 81 ticks, uh, and the DAX 188 ticks. If you can't find anything better, please run and purchase two licenses in case if this guy run out of licenses. So right now, this one here is over. It's not gonna be able to do it. You cut your losses. For the fun of it, we can leave it for a second. It's not gonna do it. You can see how we can calculate the last take on that trade. We suck the blood out of every single contract. We don't leave not even one take. Once you start knowing how to control this market and don't let this market control you, you don't leave anything behind. This one is over, done, over, we all done. All my traders are done for today. Most of them left. Uh, on those uh, last EIS, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones. You, I don't want to call the numbers. You go back uh, on the video. You do your own calculation. And uh, uh, right now, uh, we are having uh, the scalper earring banana. It's all in red. Welcome to trading. Uh, it's uh, under a lot of stress. All the EIS, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, we have nothing to hide. You have to see what, when the markets or our system make money and our system don't make money. Right now, the scalpers are struggling. Uh, we have an ESCL. Uh, I'm sorry, we've been having this trade for a very long time on the CL. At the moment, for the three minutes on the swing trading, we have not covered the swing trading yet. Uh, on the swing trading, we're still on the short trade, it's $2,000. Uh, NASDAQ, another $2,000, $2,600, and the YM, $1,700 on the last trade alone. 
and welcome to trading that's all what i can say uh, five minutes i'll be oh yeah yes sir i have so much passion for this uh, work here it's very nice it's one of the privilege when you have passion for what you do for everyday basis uh i will be oh okay there we go amigo Oh, this is, did you close it or not yet? Did you close it? Close it. Thank you, Tyson. Thank you, sir. Good teaching. Thank you, sir. Uh, yes, Tony, I just saw the new signal on the CL. I apologize, I was occupied with the other one, sir. Uh, okay, guys, uh, five minutes, I'll be right back. Thank you. Let's, let's study. I don't care about how much each one is making as much as we, we want to study how we we can maximize everything and minimize everything. Uh, you can see the numbers that were a lot on that auto trade 
also to respect to those guys with an auto trading or they are using the swing trading by being automated to trade does not mean you're safe you know or no, there we go we have a buy entry follow this one on on a sim folks we have a buy entry on what is this ym is fine look where we close the ym what happened to the ym look how much you lost on those areas here because what it takes on any given market here even if you wouldn't dare want to touch anything close position is done it's closing position i could have closed that position here folks that makes 500 dollars different from 575 to 1000 something it was so even if you are auto trading does not mean oh i should not be touching yeah, yeah why not all your life you've been touching touch this one you know this one close position 995 you know i mean uh, we don't need to to take motionly with it but when we see those numbers here what's wrong with 1500 nothing close it over done why we need the auto trade 1190 fine it's done it's over thank you have a nice weekend you know so no matter what you do you need to interfere with the market and uh, if we notice right now what did we miss on the ym nothing what did we miss on the nasdaq nothing what did we miss on the es nothing nothing we have a buy entry if i wanted to go ahead and get aggressive more on the, on this trade i will go ahead you see where is this uh, line right there you see where is the wig i will put it one tick above the wig right there you see that can you see that guys because the quality on the trading uh, on the YouTube is not here is a buy order right there okay I will not follow the market if this market going to break that area then I'm gonna catch it from here I know exactly where I'm gonna even sell it most of the traders when they take a trade they don't know where to buy it the destination of that trade they have no clue when you go to the airport you get in on the airplane you know your destination when you are taking a trade you have to know your destination and where is your level if we have a sell entry if i want to take that trade right here i know my destination is right there if i want to take a short trade on this one here i know my destination is right there that's it I know exactly how much I'm, I will be getting out of the trade and then we can evaluate should I get in in a pile of mud here or not should I take a risk on that trade or not now that trade here the stop loss is right above that line here that's all what it requires I'm late on that trade I'm showing you but if you wanted to take those trades on those fib lines then what what did you do you need to put a sell order here and then you put it higher than the one the wig here the high on the wig you will put it right there and and uh, if this market is breaking out if you want to uh, on the first breakout you want to take that trade you can do that or if you want to wait on the pullback and then re-enter after we identify the trend on the pullback re-entry yes you can do it so right now on that trade i know where is my risk i know where is my destination on that trade here practicing that you always can make your bread always always you can make your bread on it and you're almost there is I cannot guarantee you that but it's almost every single day you will have a losing trace here and there in the beginning but then your trade starts slimming out and stand making three mistakes a day you can make one mistake a day you know but then we can recover from that trade immediately i know where is this entry i know where is the destination uh, i can nail a hundred dollar out of that and you can imagine how many hundreds of dollars you can get every single day by just having a little knowledge two hundred dollars a day by having a knowledge is fifty thousand dollar a year there you go it's confirmed right now it's is it's, it's trouble in that es and now I'm very generous. I'm putting it few ticks above the line. 
because I wanted to scalp the market. And uh, this is it. I just want to scalp the market. And if it, this one didn't work, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this one here. And I'm going to put two stop loss on this one here. And um, and then uh, uh, then if I got stopped out, I will get filled on uh, one more. And then, then keep going with the trend if you want to. You can do so many things with that. Uh, uh, when you're looking at the chart, you can do so many things that you can always beat the, the trend. Always you can do that. So uh, I think we have uh, done everything. We still have one trade on this trade here. I'm uh, showing you how to do things. So this one here is not from the auto trade, guys. CL, let's look at the CL problem. The CL problem, there is no problem on the CL. And we have across those area, we are already estimation on the CL is 67.72. This is a lot of takes uh, from those area. The reason now I'm comfortable with that CL because we have a lot of support areas in here and any pull back, I'm hiding behind the walls because this is a really good support areas. Any pullback, it could be projection here. So I'm taking that trade all the way up to the 67.72 and uh, most likely today it will hit uh, that trade on the market on your chart, please. It's a 67.72. Uh, let me go back on the CL trade, uh, on the ES trade. You can see the ES hit one time, two times, three times, and it fell. Huh? It's right in front of you. It fell. Okay. We got that ES covered and we are protecting our stop loss above that line. Wanna get up, but uh, having a problem with that area here. You see, so your chances are much greater when you do that. Let's look at the CL trade. Once this uh, CL hit uh, the uh, the 67.72 is not a, just a closing position. It's a closing position and a short position. So you can make money on the way up and you can make money on the way down. This is a close opening position, short position at those numbers 67. And uh, I will stay with you and show you uh, how it's going to run that uh, CL. The auto trade will hit it right there, folks. Gentlemen, it's right there, 67.51. And uh, on the fully automated, this is where you're going to hit it. But here, on this one here, it is more for me uh, if I want to get involved with those trades, okay? But if you are using this auto trade, it will exit here and call it off. It's done. There is nothing you can do. If you are using an ATM, you will have a little bit more on it. And um, once we face those double resistance here, there is nothing we can do. It is over on that one here. So there we go, folks. We're climbing to this area, 67.72. It is your target on the CL. Despite this pullback, we know this pullback is going to hold at 67.17 on the CL. If there's any pullback, this is the area it's going to hold. So I'm not worried about the, the pullback, uh, but I know where is my target. I know where is my destination, and I know where I can close a trade. And then if I want to reverse it, if I'm, uh, I'm in a good mood for reversal, I will go ahead and take, uh, for me, I will take that chart here uh, based on a Renko bar. There is all kinds of signals in it. It's one of the best charts ever. And then I can pinpoint where is my trade. And then uh, thank you, Ben. Have a nice weekend, sir.
Let me load the chart, please. Uh, this is your CL. Uh, this is on the Renko bar. Is it come and hit the first target? A profit warning, reversal, that's okay. It's still too early to take those trades. I will wait till the second target and hit the reversal. The, the 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 second target on the CL uh, it is 6762 this is where the profit taken at uh, this target here 6762 and then I have it here under the 6773 But at 62, it will be very good potential for reversal, but also you can take it at 72. So there is 10 ticks in between, but we know exactly where is the uh, the, the entry point on the uh, reversal on the CL. On this pullback, it's not scaring me because this area here is going to hold at 67, 67.16. And then the second hold is going to be at 6707. If we look where is this wake came in exactly to the 6715. Look. Even look, they're selling it. Look where the CL stopped. They're pushing it, okay. They're trying to push it, that's very fine. And this is the second projection at 67.07. Look, it's a struggling market in this area. Cat and mouth dogs fight, look, right there. Look. That is giving you uh, comfortable in your trading. That is giving you confidence in your trading when you when you know your level in the market you know your destination and you know uh, your limitation in this market and you know how to calculate it if something did go beyond your calculation you're not very much off you're not blowing accounts this is look look where this uh, CL is holding at that is a decision point when you are taking a trace it is a serious matter even uh, we have a gentleman yesterday, uh, he put uh, the, the, the zones on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the swing trading so he can decide to uh, take those trades uh, on the swing trading. He just put the zones in there. So when he sees some good trend and he sees a profit, he's taking and closing those trades uh, by, uh, uh, by himself so this is um, uh, very good also uh, for our traders if you are swing trading to add your zones on uh, the chart so that will give you very good clear picture or you can uh, use your auto trade on that chart here uh, only three minutes uh, let me give you an example let me see some kind of chart and uh, let's go ahead and um, and um, uh, try to show you how we can be um i'm gonna be taking the es Uh, this is your ES uh, base on uh, the five minutes. This is your ES uh, base on the five minutes of swing trading. Uh, just a second, guys. So when you use uh, the swing trading, and um, okay you have um, let's say uh, your swing trade and hit you can combine your swing trading with that chart here and when you see there is a problem here in heaven uh, then you can close your uh, swing trading by pushing the button it takes you one second like what i showed you 
and then you can protect your profit and then you can say i am done for today i am done for today so this is uh, this is something uh, that um, uh, you can do and um, folks that's all what we have for today uh, i want to say thank you very much uh, we had a beautiful run uh, this um, uh, this week it was a uh, numbers beyond beyond your imagination uh we we nailed on and um uh i wish we'll stay like this uh, forever because um it was it was extremely good week it was very nice week uh the market was moving when the market is moving we make money uh and uh, i want to say thank you very much uh for all the support and uh Honestly, it was a lot of support, uh, practically every day, uh, uh, thanking us, and we thank you back. And uh, if you like us, give us a thumb up. That's all what it costs you. And uh, we will see you to all the new traders. If uh, you don't have the link on Monday, uh, is it for private members only, no visitors. Uh, uh, Monday is a private webinars, and we wanted to also uh next week by friday next week we should be um start running the new auto trade uh here on the youtube and then we're gonna secure the auto trade and then start to uh, send it out to the ones who are qualified and um, um on tuesday we are back here uh live every single day uh, i want to say i'm sorry sometimes i get excited with the trade uh, because I love to see whether you are a member or non-member. Uh, doesn't matter if you are a trader. I love to see every trader kicking ass with this market. I, from the bottom of my heart, whether you are using our system or somebody else's system is irrelevant. I get enjoyment out of seeing a trader having a good time. Honestly, honest to God. So what I'm saying, uh, guys... Okay, sure. I can stay on um, uh, on the CL trade. Uh, let me uh, go back and turn it back on. We have some requests to stay because we have some traders are still on that CL. So we're going to go ahead and um, stay with him on the CL. You know, uh, it is very clear picture where uh, the uh, the CL is going. Uh, so, My friend, I don't have to stay for that one. So your target 6772, uh, close position and try to have reversal. And oh, you're done, Vito. Okay, good. You don't have to work today. <laughs> okay. Tony, are you in this one? You are a CL trader. We have two on the CL trade. Uh, yes, Daniel, the more you practice, the more you get uh, better. Good, uh, you, you, you got to figure out the ES and the YM and uh, keep going with it. No, no sweat. It seems like all my traders, except two traders on the CL. Uh, Tony, are you in there? Vito, did you jump out of the window? Um, um, it is very simple, guys. It's 67, 72, close position, open position. Let me see, Tony, if he's still on it. 
Are you still on that trade, Tony? Sixty-six ninety-nine. Oh man. Okay. Uh, you have a lot to go on that. This one, Tony. Don't let it go. Just you know what to do, Tony. You know there, there is something in there. Okay. You have a sale at uh, sixty-seven seventy-two. You're still on it. Okay. Well, you are one of our customers. I'll stay with you, sir. Uh, so, um, I'm going to stay with you on that trade, um, uh, Tony. And uh, sure, sir. It's my pleasure. Um, on a days like this, Tony, when you are catching a good trend, um the, the market don't go up and down uh don't go just straight up and um so the first step what we need to do you go two ticks or one ticks above the entry price now we are on a free ride oh okay great you got it all right Folks, thank you very much. God bless you all. And I uh, uh, wish you a very nice weekend. For our members, you don't have the link for Monday, please send me an email or a Skype. And uh, we'll be back live on YouTube on Tuesday every day from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock. God bless you all. I wish you a really pleasure weekend. Thank you. God bless you.